Hansel and Gretel Once upon a time, a brother and sister, Hansel and Gretel, lived with their father and stepmother in a small cottage on the edge of the forest. They were very poor, and one day, the stepmother convinced their father to take the children deep into the forest and leave them there because they no longer had enough food for everyone. We must take them to the forest tomorrow because we won't have enough food for ourselves if they stay here. The father, though sad, listened to the stepmother. However, the children overheard their plan, and Hansel gathered white pebbles during the night. As their parents led them into the forest, Hansel dropped the pebbles to leave a trail. Stay here and wait for us, we'll be back soon. However, the children knew they wouldn't return for them, so they slowly started looking for the way home. It wasn't hard because they followed the pebbles. You're so smart, Hansel. Well done for thinking of leaving the pebbles. Thank you, Gretel. The stepmother was furious when she saw them decided to take them to the forest again, this time deeper. This time, Hansel didn't have any pebbles, so he used breadcrumbs to leave a trail instead. When the parents once again found an excuse and left, the children began searching for their way home, but unfortunately, this time they couldn't find it because the birds had eaten all the breadcrumbs, and Hansel and Gretel got lost in the forest. Wandering through the forest, the children came upon a house made of cake, sugar, and sweets. They were hungry and began eating part of the house. Come in, children. I have lots of nice cakes for you inside. Hansel and Gretel didn't know that she was an evil witch who liked to eat children. The witch trapped Hansel in a cage, planning to fatten him up to eat him later, while Gretel had to do all the housework and cook meals for Hansel. Here, you'll prepare food for Hansel. I want you to cook a lot so he gets fat quickly. That way, he'll be tastier when I eat him. When the day came for the witch to eat Hansel, she prepared the oven and told Gretel. Check if the oven is hot enough. But Gretel was cleverer than the witch. She approached the oven and said, I'm too small and can't check if the oven is hot enough. All right, step aside, I'll check. Gretel managed to trick the witch and pushed her into the oven while she was trying to check the temperature. The children were freed. Hansel and Gretel found treasure in the witch's house and returned home, where their father greeted them with tears of joy. The evil stepmother had left, and from then on, they lived happily and wealthily. Voices taken from the website, voicebooking.com Music taken from the website, zapsplat.com Animation, Yelena Ristek Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, there lived a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She got that name from her red coat, which was given to her by her grandmother. One day grandma got sick. Little Red Riding Hood's mom prepared lunch for grandma and asked Little Red Riding Hood to take it to her. Here you go Little Red Riding Hoods. This is grandma's lunch. Please take care, go straight to grandma and don't deviate from the road. Okay mom. She answered and went to take lunch to her grandmother. On the way to her grandmother, she saw beautiful forest flowers and started to pick them. 
She wanted to make a beautiful bouquet for her grandmother. Every flower that was deeper in the forest seemed more and more beautiful to her. She soon forgot her mother's warning. It was late, two eyes were already watching on her. Hello little girl, what's your name? Little Red Riding Hood. Where did you go? I'm going to grandma's, she is sick. Where does your grandmother live? At the end of the forest. The wolf has already come up with a cunning plan. Okay I have to go now bye. Answered the wolf and rushed towards the grandmother's house, to get there before Little Red Riding Hood. He knocked on the door. Who is? It's me, Little Red Riding Hood, bringing you lunch. Said the wolf in a changed voice. Come in, it's open. The wolf came in and ate the grandmother. He quickly changed into grandmother's clothes and lay down in her bed to wait for Little Red Riding Hood. Soon Little Red Riding Hood came and knocked on the door. Come in, it's open. Little Red Riding Hood looked at the wolf and asked. Grandma, Grandma, why are your eyes so big? To see you better. Grandma, Grandma, why are your ears so big? To hear you better. Grandma, Grandma, why is your mouth so big? To eat you easily. He ate Little Red Riding Hood. Tired from a hard day, the wolf laid down in bed and fell asleep. The hunter was passing by the house. He entered the house and freed Grandma and Little Red Riding Hood. Voices from website, voicebooking.com